Put the rally history aside, storied as it may be, and the Subaru WRX STI's mix of performance hardware and economy car versatility seems bizarre, but hugely intriguing. Why not have a sports car you can drive every day and everywhere? For 2015, we have the next generation STI, which has a significantly stiffer chassis and many other improvements, but it isn't entirely all new. The 2.5 liter turbo flat 4 that's powered the STI since 2008 remains largely unchanged, still channeling 305 horsepower and 290 pound-feet of torque to all four wheels through a six-speed manual. And we're most interested in finding out whether the new STI still has it. The plan goes as follows. We'll get our first taste of the STI at the press launch at Mazda Raceway Laguna Seca, then we'll run it through the ignition test treatment, and then we'll take it along one of our favorite curvy roads. Now the STI on track, I had a bit of time to warm up in it and my initial impressions are pretty nice. This is a car that it's really easy to get to speed with. You can feel like you can reach for its limits really quickly. It has a rather forgiving chassis balance and a tendency to understeer. Once you turn the wheel, the car feels like it wants to turn quickly with it. That's kind of an alien thing in Subarus, but I really like it. The car doesn't flop around like I remember the old STIs doing. Also, our car has a short shift kit, and it's really nice to row the gears in. I like uh, the interaction between the clutch pedal and the gas. It's not difficult to get heel-toe downshifts right. The car makes it pretty easy. And the stability as we go over one here, into fifth gear at 100 miles an hour is pretty good. This car has a uh, brake assisted torque vectoring system as we're calling it now brake vectoring. And it's off when you have the stability control completely off, which we do now. This car on the track has different pads in it because a lot of journalists are cycling through this car and they don't want to burn the pads off but I'm curious about how the torque vectoring system is gonna wear a set of street pads. That's something we'll have to find out. Again, I'm impressed with the way the car comes into a corner, how fast it can get in, and the chassis balance mid corner is really nice too because of the way you can set it up. Turn in, bounce, that's the best corner on the track as we go up to the corkscrew. The sound is very good too, and it matches the way this car builds power high in the RPM range. Whee! <laughs> oh, we're catching up to our fellow journalists here. High level of grips. I really feel like I can push this car mid-corner way more than I feel like I should be able to. I have a lot of confidence driving this car fast, and that's cool on, uh, in a track environment give him some room. As we give the driver in front of us some room, let's reflect. So let's talk about what's underneath the sheet metal because on the face of it, this doesn't seem too different than a WRX. Now the front and rear suspension is much stiffer, has stiffer everything basically. And there's all kinds of percentages they're throwing at this car to make it sound stiffer. The gist of it is the car is stiffer. Overall, this STI is pretty fun. Uh, first impressions, again, are very, very good. Uh, surprising, almost. I was not expecting this car to be this fun, frankly. Despite the unchanged power and similar weight, this STI handily out-accelerated last year's car, although we don't recommend the red line clutch dumps it took to get that number. 
Short gearing requires a shift to third to reach 60, which the STI hits in 4.6 seconds. That's nearly a second faster than the new WRX. The STI maintains that gap to the quarter mile, reaching it in 13.1 seconds at 104.4 miles an hour. That's also 0.7 second faster than last year's STI. Peak stopping distance improved too. The Dunlop Sportmax tires and Brembo braking system, comprised of 13 inch rotors with four piston calipers front and 12.4 inch rotors with dual piston calipers rear, required 108 feet to stop from 60. The most telling benefit of this different chassis appeared on the figure eight, where the 2015 STI dropped its lap time by a large half second margin. At 24.9 seconds, it's 0.4 second faster than the new WRX. Average lateral acceleration increased to 0.97 G. Now we have the STI in what would seem to be more of its natural environment. As good as this car handled on the track, as fun as it was to drive, I think the road is a true test of how fun these fast Subarus can be. You can just bomb down this. These cars are great on bumpy, uneven roads that you just want to go fast through. You just keep your foot in it and don't worry about it. The car's going to go all over the place and bump around and you just keep the steering straight and it's fine. Steering feel is quite nice. You still have hydraulica assist while the WRX is an electric assist and you still hear like the previous Gen STIs you can still hear the hydraulic fluid going around as you dial in some steering input but overall the weighting is nice the feedback is nice and the response I'm impressed with how quickly the car responds once you dial in steering input. I like the sound of it too. They're piping in on this two and a half liter, they're piping in the induction sound. You can actually hear some turbocharger whooshing and sneezing as well. And it's pretty cool at about 3,500 to 4,000 RPM. That's when it starts getting in the meat of it, it sounds like. Now, disappointments. I'm disappointed in the fact that the two and a half liter turbo is just a carryover engine. Now that doesn't mean it's a bad engine, it's just been around for a long time with the same horsepower and torque figures. They've done some changes to this, but it still feels very much like the engine that was in last year's STI. Right now though, I'm having a lot of fun. There's a lot of confidence in this chassis, there's a lot of confidence in this car and it has an ease and accessibility with driving it. This car doesn't scare you, there's no worries here. In fact, when you're bombing down a mountain road that maybe you haven't been on before, it's a nice thing. As is, the STI makes no effort to hide its intent. You may think it's a responsible car, it has four doors after all, and all-wheel drive, but it's not. You aren't fooling anyone. Just look at it. Look at that wing. Look at those gold wheels. Everyone knows the real reason. You just want to go fast. Now Subarus received no shortage of criticism on the design of the new STI. It's rightfully earned too, especially when you put the finished product next to the WRX concept of a few years ago. On the other hand, Subaru's never really been in the business of designing particularly beautiful cars, so perhaps we're expecting too much. Now, the WRX and STI are getting a lot of flack for not looking great. And, you know, it's probably deserving. Because, let's face it, they aren't attractive cars. But, this is a bizarrely versatile, extremely unique car. And it retains those elements, those things that I liked so much about the last generation STI. So why STI? Because of the drivetrain. 
While the WRX makes do with just a viscous center diff and a nominal 50-50 torque split, the STI has an electronically controlled and adjustable center diff with a 41-59 split and locking differentials on both axles. Where the WRX begins to falter, the STI gives the driver just that much more control. Combined, it simply makes for a faster and better handling car. Graceful, it's not, but the new STI is huge fun and it succeeds in giving its driver both that versatility and big speed we love. While we're disappointed the engine hasn't been updated since 2008 and that you can't easily option gold wheels and that it doesn't look that great, we keep coming back to one simple truth. The 2015 STI is the best driving STI yet. Oh yeah, bro. Got our helmets. Got our Alpine Star gear. Oh yeah. Gonna ride really slowly on a mountain road. Cagers. That's what motorcycles have uh, slang for cars. I didn't know that. Because they've got a metal cage around them. Cagers? Yes, they're cagers. I think you just made that up. No, that's an actual thing.